Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out a brand new Switch emulator that's really shaking things up. It's called Eden and this is the unofficial nightly build. Now just a heads up, this version isn't from the official Eden developer team. It's a community release meant to showcase the latest features from the newest commits. So yeah, it's experimental, expect a few bugs here and there and definitely don't report issues from this build to the official team. As in right now, it's available for Windows and Linux only, no Android support just yet, but that's something they are actively working on. So with that said, let's jump in and see what this emulator can do. Alright, so for this test, I'll be installing the Eden Nightly build on a pretty solid setup. We're running an ASRock B450M motherboard paired with uh, Ryzen 7 2700X and backed by 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. For the GPU, I'm using an NVIDIA RTX 3060 with 12 gigs of VRAM, which should give us plenty of headroom for more demanding titles. This setup is in top of the line by today's standards, but it's still very capable and should give us a good idea of how Eden handles a mid to high tier hardware and is running Windows 11. And hey, if you like builds like this and want to see more emulator test, performance demos and setup guides, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more content like this coming up real soon. Alright, let's go ahead and get this build up and running. I dropped links to both the official Eden emulator and the unofficial nightly build down in the pinned comment so you can grab the version you want to try out. For this video we're using nightly build, so once you're on the page, scroll down until you see Windows section and download the x86 version. Once the zip file is downloaded, just extract everything to a folder on your desktop or whatever you prefer. When you launch Eden executable, you might get a Windows security warning. No worries, this is expected with new unsigned builds. Just go ahead and click run anyway. Now head over to the tools tab inside Eden. From here we'll install the switch firmware. Make sure it's an older version since some newer builds can be unstable. After that, install the encryption keys. And finally, don't forget to point Eden to your games folder. So everything is organized and ready to launch. Now that everything's set up, let's go ahead and launch a few games to see how Eden performs. I'll keep the emulator window like this so you can see the real-time FPS counter. But if you prefer full screen during your own session, just hit F11. First up, we're jumping into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'll go ahead and let the gameplay speak for itself, so sit back and take a look how it runs.
next up, we're testing out Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Before launching the game, I made a couple of quick changes in the settings to improve performance. Under the speed limit percentage section, I set up to 150% just to help smooth things out during gameplay. And in memory layout, I allocated 8 gigs of RAM to give the emulator a little more breathing room. With those tweaks in place, let's jump in and see how it handles. Crash Band. Finally, we're going to test out the Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom. I've been really impressed with how it once runs on the Eden Knightly build. It's smooth, responsive and very playable. But I'll let you see for yourself. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Here it seems. So overall, I got to say, this Eden Nightly build is pretty impressive. Even though it's unofficial and still in active development, it's already showing some solid performance in some demanding titles like Zelda and Crash Bandicoot 4. Setup was pretty straightforward, and with just a few tweaks like RAM allocation and speed limits, you can get a really smooth experience, especially if you're running mid to high-end hardware like we did today. Just remember, this build is still experimental, so things may break or behave differently across updates. If you're looking for a more stable experience, it's probably best to stick with the official releases for now. But if you're the type that likes to test bleeding age features and help shape the future of Switch emulation, Eden Nightly is definitely worth a try. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.